Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to partition your hard drive in Windows 10. Check it out. So again, before we get started, what you're going to want to do if you do have data that is on the drive that you're looking to partition, you will want to back that data up just in case something happens with the partitioning process and it becomes corrupt. But you can partition a drive that does have data on it. So what we're going to do again, we're going to right click on the start menu, left click on disk management, and it's going to load all of the drives attached to the computer. At this point, I'm going to choose my storage drive, in this case E drive, because that is going to be the drive I'm going to be using for today's demonstration. It is a one terabyte internal drive. Yours might be slightly different. You might have a different drive number, etc. What we're going to do is we're going to be splitting this into two logical drives. So it's going to give it two different uh, drive letters. So in this case, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the drive, go down to shrink volume, and we're going to just split this right down the middle. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to type in 500,000 which is 500 gigabytes. So basically for every thousand megabytes, you get a gigabyte, so 500,000. And you can see that after the uh, partition, you can see the total size after shrink in megabytes is gonna be 453,000 or 453 gigabytes. So I'm gonna click on shrink and you're gonna see that the drive split into two. Now I have a drive E, but I also have a second part of that drive that is unallocated, which means it doesn't have the, um, the capacity to store any data. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to right click on it and click on new simple volume. What this is gonna bring up is a little volume wizard. Go ahead and click on next. Uh, in this case, it says maximum disk size. So it shows your maximum disk size, simple volume. So again, you can split this drive into multiple drives if you wanted to as well. For today's demonstration, we're gonna leave it at the 500,000. Click on next. And it's gonna typically automatically assign a drive letter for you. You can go in and choose one specific if you have a, a specific that you want. Now keep in mind, if you do have whatever drive you set, if you end up changing it later on and you have like network files and stuff like that shared through the network, you will have to go through and update those since the drive letter will have changed. So we're gonna just set it for drive I. Um, you don't have to, I'm not gonna mount it and I'm not gonna do not assign a drive letter or drive path because I do want it to have a drive letter. So I'm gonna click on next and we are gonna leave it on the NTFS format. We're gonna leave it to default and then you can call this anything you want. So for today, we're just gonna call it demo and you can perform a quick format on it just in case there's anything left over. You can go through and quickly format that. So we'll go ahead and hit next and finish. So it'll go through and now you can see that my one physical drive, my one terabyte internal drive is now split into two logical drives and they have their own. So if you bring up your PC or my PC, you're gonna notice, let me bring that up, that in there, it's going to have two different drives. So you can see storage is here and it's 500, roughly 500 gigabytes. And then you have demo here, which is the one that we just partitioned, which is also just shy of 500 gigabytes. So you can see that it's gonna, it's gonna handle that as two separate drives. Say that you want to, you have two partitions and you want to delete it. Make sure that there's nothing on that partition that you wanna keep. Again, make sure everything's backed up. Come back into the disk management, right click on the partition that you want to delete and left click on delete volume. What that's going to do is it's gonna say any data that's on here, it's going to be erased. Do you have it backed up? Are you sure you want to continue? Go ahead and click on yes. And you can see now it becomes unallocated. So let's say we wanted to rejoin the two partitions together and make the one big one terabyte drive. What you're gonna to want to do is left click, or sorry, right click on the other logic or the other partition and you're gonna left click on extend volume. What this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up an extension wizard, hit next, gonna choose the 500,000 megabytes, next, and then hit finish. And you're gonna notice that it now takes the two logical drives and combines it into the one drive, one logical drive itself. And that is just a quick how-to on how to go through and partition the drives on your computer. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and also the bell icon so you can get future notifications. And we will see you on the next one.